Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good day. My name is Ryan and I'm going to show you how to configure your Google Maps API key to work for a certain limited amount of domains and how to configure that on your backend Google Cloud Platform console. All right. Now the first thing you want to do is just come to Google and I typed in Google Maps API key configure and typically is the first link. It's going to show you the steps of how to get an API key and how to add it to your application. All right. Now this page is just for the steps to actually get to the console. When it comes to Google, you type in Google Cloud Platform Console, and you want to find the link that is console.cloud.google.com. Go ahead and open that. And here is your backend console. Every Google account will have a backend console to create applications. At the top, you're going to see a drop down and it's going to list all the projects you've created under this account. If you don't have a project, you can create one using this button at the top right corner of this pop up modal. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select World News, which is already selected. Now, once you've selected a project, you want to come into API and Services. It's going to pop out a sub menu. Go ahead and click Credentials. And here is going to show you your API key, right? And you can see here restrictions. I have mine with HTTP refers. By default, there are no restrictions, but you can add them after you've created a key. And to add them, you can go ahead and click that key. And it'll come down. And in this section here, application restrictions, we can choose different types of restrictions. For example, Android apps or iOS apps, IP addresses or HTTP refers, or in other words, websites. This is what I chose. And we select this. You're going to get a drop down list. And in this list, you're going to specify all the domains that are allowed to use your API key. For example, I have this right here. This is my application. We'll go ahead and open this up. This is on Heroku, so it may take a while for it to start. Should start momentarily. And here's an application I have, right? And we can see Google Map is working. I'm going to press F12 on Windows to open the console or the dev tools. If you can see, we have errors, but none of them are related to Google Maps. So I know Google Maps is working on this domain right here. Anyone can simply just view page source, scroll all the way. Um, actually, where is it? UI view. Huh. Okay, so not in the page source. Oh yeah, this is using Angular. Sorry, bear with me. Let me just uh, inspect. Let's open this, open this, open this. Right here, okay. So this script tag is wide and open and you can see my API key right here, right? You can see it right here in the open. And you can come to the domain and see my API key. But I don't have to worry because in my backend, I configured it to only work under these domains right here, right? So if I were to copy this script tag, go ahead and copy. And I have here a test app in the sandbox folder. I'm just going to add this script right here, the callback will be in that map function. I have that set up here in this script. All right, now let me just find the setup code for that.
Let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to copy this, paste it here. So we have a variable with map options, specifying the center. I'm going to say for our map will be a new Google Maps. We're going to put it in the div with the map ID. We'll go ahead and save this and try opening it inside the browser. We'll go ahead and open the sandbox folder. Try opening it and it's not working. Why is it not working? Let's go ahead and check the console and we get API error, referrer not allowed. Your site URL to be authorized. This URL is not authorized to use this key and no one can get into this backend except the owner, which is your Google account. So I don't have to worry about anyone stealing this key because it won't work on any of the sites I didn't specify in my backend. So with that, I hope that helps. Um, do check the documentation for additional ways to restrict keys. There's HTTP refers, there's API restrictions. You come in, select an API to restrict, meaning which Google app will work with this key and just pretty much um stay secured and with that i bid you all a good day um happy coding and take care